All right, let's graph the equation for y equals 8x plus 3. We're going to use a table of values in this video. You can use slope-intercept form. That works really well. Link at the end of this video if you need help with that. So we're going to put values in for x, get a value for y, and graph the equation y equals 8x plus 3. I like to start out with 0, because 8 times 0, that's 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. So we start with 0x, we get 3y. And that's a point on the line y equals 8x plus 3. I could put 1 in for 8, but 8 times 1, that would be 8 plus 3. That would give me 11, and y only goes up to 9. So I'd rather not do that. Why don't we do negative 1? 8 times negative 1. So we're doing negative 1 for x. 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 3, that is negative 5. Let's put 2, negative 2, in for x and see what happens. And actually here we get 8 times negative 2 is negative 16 plus 3. That gives us negative 13. And again, that's not going to work. So why don't we do negative 1 half? We can do that. So I put negative 1 half for x. So 8 times negative 1 half would be just negative 4. Half of 8 is 4, but we have the negative. So negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. And we could do it with just two points. That would work, but I like having a third point. So let's try it. x is 0, y is 3, right there. x is negative 1, y is negative 5. So negative 1 down, negative 5. Then we have x is negative 1 half, y is negative 1. So x is negative 1 half, y is negative 1. And look at that. There's the line. Let's put a line through that. Put arrows to show it goes to infinity, and that is the line for y equals 8x plus 3. You could put any values in for x. You get a value for y. When you plot it, it'll be somewhere on this line. I chose these values because it fits on my graph paper. It's Dr. B. Thanks for watching.